Hello! I saw this video on Ariel Bissett's channel, I'll link it below, um, and it's a reading tag about your habits while you read, what you do while you read, how you read, and it just looked like a bit of fun, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Question one is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? And yes, I do. It is exactly where I'm standing. Usually there is a chair here in the corner. I have a nice light that goes behind it, but I don't feel like I actually spend that much time reading there, especially since it's got sunny. I prefer to read on the sofa with light coming from behind me or just reading in bed because I'm lazy and, and I read a lot in the morning anyway. So I do have a spot, but it's, it's kind of underutilized. Question number two, bookmark or random piece of paper? I have recently developed very strong opinions on this. So um, I mostly buy my books from like local independent bookshops, <laughs> look at me, um, and a lot of them will just like have their own shop's bookmark and will put it in the book when you buy it. So you just like have a bookmark with that book. I used to do a lot of like just remembering the page, went through a phase of dog earring, uh, went through a phase of, yeah, random bits of paper. But now, like, I can only stand the bookmarks from this one bookshop. I have a little treasure thing over here where it contains, like, some postcards, naughty man wearing tights. Um, please don't ban this video from ads. Uh, I have some stickers that I put on my books. And then it also has all of the, like, random bookmarks that I get from, um, from different shops. And my favourites are these ones. So these are from Broadway Bookshop. Um, and they have them in this blue colour, this red colour, and also a yellow, which I guess I'm just using in several books at the moment. But yeah, when I when I first started getting books from them, I got all three of these, and then I was like, oh my god, do they have an infinite number of these coloured uh, bookmarks, and can I get them all? Yes, please. But yeah, the thing I love about these ones is that A, they're like almost exactly the height of a paperback book, minus like two millimetres, which to me is perfect. And they're thin enough that you can kind of wedge them just inside the front cover and they'll stay there when you're reading um but without like kind of without falling out and also without kind of like getting in the way yeah i feel quite strongly that bookmarks shouldn't be thick i have this wonderful bookmark that a friend gave me it says it says book lovers on it and it's like a leather thing of of two people making out um but they they love books and they're also lovers with each other which is, is really cute but it's made out of leather and it's really quite thick and that just doesn't do it for me as a bookmark but these are perfect. Question number three, can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or a certain amount of pages? Um, I don't think I have to get to the end of the chapter, but I do have this habit that I picked up from um, reading books while listening to their audiobooks, where I'll always stop at the uh, very start of a new page so that when I'm resuming, I know that it's it's going to be there um because otherwise it's really confusing when you play the audio and you don't know where you are if i'm a couple of pages away from the end of a chapter fine i'll get there or if there's like a very logical page break in a page then i might stop there instead but generally top left of a double spread question number three do you eat or drink while reading um I'm not sure about eating but yeah i can't i constantly i like almost always have a cup of, of black earl grey tea next to me at all times like <laughs> regardless of reading or not reading uh, this is this is always accompanying me. Question five, do you listen to music or watch TV while reading? This is bananas to me that anyone will read and also watch TV at the same time. Like it's one form of entertainment really just like not enough. This does really annoy me because I often catch my boyfriend playing games on his phone while he's like put on a TV show that he wants to watch and um, I just think it's our attention economy at its worst. <laughs> that being said, I do actually listen to music while I read sometimes um, because in basically all of my idle time, I'm listening to podcasts or audiobooks. Um, having there be like active silence, I find quite disconcerting. Also an issue with our attention economy. Um, but yeah, sometimes like when I'm in bed, totally fine to read in silence. But as soon as I like notice that it's quiet, it bothers me a bit. So I have a, um, a playlist on Spotify. Sure, I'll link that down below as well. It's just a chill playlist um, and it's mostly without lyrics or maybe I guess the songs are just familiar enough to me that the lyrics don't bother me anymore. Um, but they're just kind of like low vibes, nice background stuff. Question number six, one book at a time or several at once? Um, I cannot read multiple books at once. I've been trying to this month and it just doesn't work for me. What I do have is I almost always have an audiobook on the go that's separate from the physical book I'm reading because that stream works well for me. But I find if I'm ever trying to read multiple books, I just like end up leaving one for ages because I've obviously 
pick something else up because it wasn't exciting or interesting or engaging enough. Um, so then I just rarely get back to it. Question number eight, reading out loud or silently in your head? Um, re like reading silently, obviously, but I do really like reading out loud. Sometimes I just will randomly start reading a paragraph out loud to my boyfriend and he's just like, no, I don't, I don't want to listen to this. I did have one wonderful reading out loud experience that I've managed to find a picture of um, when I was 18 doing Interrail, which is like this, this classic European gap year kind of thing where you just get a train around Europe with your with your friends and um, enjoy being an adult. Um, the first leg of that I just did with my friend Amy and we were in Paris and I brought The Hobbit with me because I'd never read it before. And for some reason I just started, like the very start of the book I read out loud to her and then we just decided to kind of alternate reading it out loud to each other um, over this week in Paris. Like we would do it in parks and uh, like in queues um, and, and yeah, b before bed at night. And it was just like a very sweet thing. And also um, kind of, it was really fun to explore like what is good about reading out loud. Like being, physically being able to, to read out loud and like have a, a good, vocal cadence um was is quite a challenge um and you know doing like the voices and stuff it was it just kind of like added an extra dimension to the book which which I really enjoyed and it was really nice to share that experience with a friend so um I mean if my boyfriend was out for it I would definitely do this more but he's he's not question number nine do you read ahead or even skip pages um I don't tend to skip pages I'm not against it I think if I'm at I think if I'm reading a book where I would skip pages, I probably already put that book down. Um, or, well, I guess I probably do. I just don't really notice it. I definitely skip over dialogue quite a bit. Like when I just want to get to the point, my eyes will just glaze over any of the kind of niceties. Um, but yeah, I, I rarely skip big chunks of, of books. Question number 10, breaking the spine or keeping it like new? Um, this is a strangely controversial question, isn't it? I stand on books are made to be read but also it's really hard to read a book that has a giant crack at one point and like only wants to fold there so I do this thing mostly it's like well with big books sometimes with small books I, I don't care um but Sana from Books and Quills put up this video and I looked at it before I started filming this it was five years ago um I will link that down below and it was it's just about how not to actually crack the spine while kind of opening the book up and the, the basic thing is that you put a book on the table on its spine and you fold down the pages gradually um, so it kind of curves the spine so then it's like less likely to actually like properly crack one place. I don't really care about cracked spines but I do care when it's just like totally broken at, at a certain point um, and I think that method helps to alleviate that problem. And finally, question 11, do you write in your books? Uh, not against it. Do I write in my books? Not not actively, sometimes I might. I'm, I, with, with non-fiction books, sometimes I highlight them, um, especially if, they're, if I'm reading them like to learn a particular thing. Um, I might write, but I generally don't, I don't tend to have like a pen next to me when I'm reading um, or, or think to write things down. So yeah, not against it, but but don't generally. Uh, aside from apparently the bookmarks thing. No, actually, I don't have any strong opinions about what you should do with regards to any of these questions. <laughs> I just have a particular type of bookmark I like and anything else is just, yeah, free for all. Do whatever you want. Oh anyway, wait, actually looking at the questions, I did have very strong opinions on uh, watching TV while reading, but yeah, um, I stand by that. Um, are there any of those questions that you have particularly strong reactions to? Um, if you don't want to make a, a video yourself of this tag, feel free to leave your answers um, down in the comments. I'll put the questions down there as well. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I want to do more kind of like, just kind of random videos on this channel. Um, sort of stroke my ego a little bit. So this, this has been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it and I, I'll see you next time. Bye.